Welcome to a brief journey through the iconic TV series that graced our screens in 1972, capturing the essence of San Francisco like never before. As we delve into the streets of this vibrant city, one cannot help but wonder which classic Hollywood actor left an indelible mark on your viewing experience. The streets of San Francisco brought forth a plethora of characters, each with their unique allure. From seasoned detectives to enigmatic criminals, the ensemble cast delivered memorable performances. So, which role stands out as your favorite? Before we uncover more about this classic series, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the show. What scene or character left an everlasting impression on you? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's unravel some captivating facts about the show that might surprise you. Did you know that the series showcased not only the captivating narrative, but also the picturesque landscapes of San Francisco, becoming a character in its own right? Whether you were captivated by the gripping storylines, the dynamic duo of Carl Malden and Michael Douglas, or the unmistakable backdrop of San Francisco, the streets of San Francisco has undoubtedly left an enduring legacy in the realm of television. What classic Hollywood actor in this TV series was your favorite? Out of the many roles, which one resonated with you the most? Share your thoughts and memories in the comments below, and let's reminisce about this timeless series. The streets of San Francisco emerged on the television scene in 1972 as a crime drama set against the backdrop of the iconic city in California. Produced by Quinn Martin Productions, the first season saw collaboration with Warner Bros television. The series took viewers on a journey through the city's streets, unfolding crime mysteries in a unique narrative style. One notable international adaptation took place in West Germany, where the character Steve was renamed Heller to avoid confusion with another television character named Commissar Keller. This tweak showcased the global impact and resonance of the series. In the United Kingdom, the show made its debut on November 19, 1973, introducing British audiences to the gripping narratives and distinctive atmosphere of San Francisco's streets. Filmed on location, the series brought authenticity to its storytelling, capturing the essence of San Francisco. Its success was not confined to the United States, as evident by its international adaptations and premieres. The streets of San Francisco stands as a testament to the enduring appeal of crime dramas and the exploration of urban landscapes as integral elements of storytelling in the television landscape. In securing Carl Malden for the streets of San Francisco, Quinn Martin enlisted Michael Douglas for the role of Inspector Steve Keller, facilitated through Douglas' father, Kirk. This strategic casting move paved the way for a successful partnership on the crime drama series. Interestingly, Elvis Presley reportedly refrained from watching the show due to a curious coincidence. Carl Malden's character shared the name Mike Stone, the same name as the man with whom Presley's wife, Priscilla Presley, had an affair. The show's trajectory took a significant turn during its fifth and final season when, after the second episode, Michael Douglas departed to focus on producing the acclaimed film One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. This departure explained within the series by having his character take a teaching position at a local college marked a pivotal moment in the show's evolution. These behind-the-scenes dynamics shed light on the intriguing interplay that shaped the legacy of the streets of San Francisco, proving that the series extended beyond the crime narratives portrayed on screen. The Streets of San Francisco, a crime drama from the 70 seconds, had more than just gripping narratives. One unique aspect was its sponsorship by Ford Motor Company. Nearly half of the showcased vehicles were brand new Ford cars. Notably, the SFPD Cruiser fleet exclusively featured Ford Galaxies, emphasizing the partnership with the automaker. In the series, the inspector's unmarked Ford sedan responded to emergencies, with a single revolving magnetic red light on the roof. However, this differed from real unmarked SFPD vehicles, which used a forward steady burning red handheld spotlight. Beyond the on-screen dynamics, Michael Douglas, who played Inspector Steve Keller, considered Carl Malden his surrogate father off the set. This paternal bond, despite Malden having no sons, added a personal touch behind the scenes. These unique facets, from the Ford sponsorship to the authentic portrayal of emergency responses, and the off-screen camaraderie between the lead actors, offer a fascinating glimpse into the multifaceted legacy of this iconic crime drama. 
The streets of San Francisco, with its Ford-powered streets and behind-the-scenes relationships, remains a distinctive chapter in television history. Carl Meldon's unwavering presence in every episode defined the enduring success of this crime drama. Over its five-season run, he remained the constant anchor, a testament to his commitment to the streets of San Francisco. Interestingly, Meldon and Michael Douglas, who played Inspector Steve Keller, forged a strong bond both professionally and personally. Their camaraderie extended beyond the screen, with Meldon considering Douglas the son he never had. This connection persisted, even reuniting them two decades later at the 1996 People's Choice Awards. Malden's wish to have Douglas on the series materialized, highlighting the significance of their partnership. In the realm of unexpected twists, Michael Douglas' departure in 1976 took a surprising turn. Contrary to his expectation of a dramatic exit, he left the series not in a five-page death scene in the gutter, as he envisioned, but to take on a teaching role within the storyline. This revelation adds a layer of intrigue to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the streets of San Francisco. Beyond the characters and plot lines, the enduring legacy of the show is underscored by Malden's remarkable feat being the sole actor to appear in every episode throughout its run. His consistent presence played a pivotal role in shaping the series' identity. The streets of San Francisco, with its powerful character dynamics and unexpected departures, remains a distinctive chapter in television history, leaving an indelible mark on its audience. The show's origins stem from a pilot movie developed by Edward Hume based on characters from Weston's novel. This precursor laid the groundwork a week before the series debuted. It was a start rooted in careful planning and character exploration, setting the stage for what would unfold. One distinct element was the attention to detail in the studio's replication of SFPD radio cars. These vehicles mirrored authenticity, albeit with a minor exception in the early episodes. The small nuances in their emergency lights added to the realism, creating an authentic atmosphere in the series. Michael Douglas, pivotal to the show's success, departed during the 1976-77 season. His character's departure, marked by taking a teaching position, resonated with similar plot lines in films like Dirty Harry and The Enforcer. This departure signaled a shift in the series as it navigated the absence of a central character. The streets of San Francisco emerged not just as a crime drama but as a carefully constructed series with attention to detail in its development, dedication to authenticity and props, and strategic narrative choices for character exits. As we bid adieu to this reminiscent journey through the captivating television series set amidst the vibrant urban landscape, I extend an earnest invitation to ponder the intimate bond you might harbor with those stirring narratives and compelling characters. Perhaps you've treasured moments where the city's pulsating energy echoed through the screen or found resonance in the dynamic interplay between its protagonists. Feel free to share your cherished recollections, the scenes that linger in your mind's eye, or the characters who left an indelible mark on your imagination. Your perspectives weave a vibrant tapestry of collective nostalgia, each thread a testament to the show's enduring legacy. Thank you, dear reader, for partaking in this reflective exploration. Your engagement and affection for the series infuse it with a timeless charm. Until we cross paths again, may your memories of those San Francisco streets continue to spark joy and inspiration in your heart.